In this video, we'll talk about taking packet traces, specifically using TCP dump to take a packet trace. Now, when you're troubleshooting networks, packet traces are one of your best friends. And workstations joining the domain, setting up trust, those are all times when you need to see about what's what's actually what is being sent. And sometimes an LDAP trace on the server will help but usually in conjunction with a packet trace and a packet trace is just invaluable and using TCP dump is a great tool it should already be there with your SLES distribution uh, other distributions you might need to install it anyway this is TCP dump when we first want before we start using it we want to find out what interfaces we have so you can do the TCP dump dash D list our interfaces so we have E2, any, of course, any is always there, and then low. And if you're unsure, n or nothing that seems to be coming through, use the any option. Otherwise, use your specific uh, interface. So if we do TCP dump, co some common options. I'm not going to go over all of them. There's many different w ways you can use TCP dump. Uh, we just want to do numeric instead of uh, resolving our host name. That's, that's a common one. You can do your verbosity. Uh, we're sending it to a packet, uh, to a file, so it's, this isn't really a big deal. But it's have it. I put it in there. Uh, dash uh, s is your snapshot length. Uh, if you look in the man pages, it will say talk about snarfing your snap length, and that just means getting your snapshot length. That's just short for getting your snapshot length. So that's what snarfy or snaplin is. By default, the snapshot length is 68 bytes. We're going to that. That's just usually way too short. And let's uh, we want to unless you know exactly what size you want, use the da the dash s zero. That's and I'll make sure it gets it all. It, it sets it to the max, which is like 65, uh, 6500 or 65,000. I I can't remember. It's been a while since I've looked it up. But it's it's more than enough. It'll grab everything. It's not the same as as uh, packets. That's the dash C option. So if you wanted it to stop after a certain packet number of packets, do a dash C uh, fifty, and it'll stop after fifty packets. Uh, so let's uh, so that's our snapshot length. Dash I is our interface. As we can see, remember it's the ETH zero. So ETH or not ETH zero, ETH two. <laughs> I looked right at it and said two, zero. So ETH2, uh, if we know what we want for, uh, what kind of expression we want, if we we're, 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 know what we're filtering on, in this case, we're going to filter between a host and the workstation. We know the IP address. This is just a real easy way to do it. There, You can say destination, source, and list a specific, or just grab source and uh, you know traffic from a specific source from a specific port lots of options so this is this really basic just uh, the host and this workstation and let's write this out to a file that's the dash W we'll go to temp and we'll call it XP login and finish off use uh, a cap or pcap for the extension of your packet trace. So here we go, we're set. We just press enter. And when we're done we just do, do a control C. So it lets us know how many packets we've received so far. So far zero because we're filtering between uh, the workstation. So let's go ahead and log in. So it's logging in. As we can see packets are going up. And when we're about done, we think we're done, 48, 9, we just do a control C, and we've saved our packet trace. Now to read it, Wireshark, again, it probably isn't installed by default, but you can go and, and uh, install it, or better yet, install it on your workstation. You can open it up, and voila, there's our login information so again TCP dump great utility for pack taking packet traces uh, if you want to learn more about it look at the man pages there's plenty of, of examples out there also 
but this is just some of the basic easy uh, way to, to take a packet trace that uh, I use. So, all right. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.